add TXIO modules. As you have created all the IOs and assigned them to the onboard channels. Let's see how can we add the TXIO modules for IO extension. Click on the Add Module button to open the dialog. Choose the desired module from the list. We are going to use TXM1.4D3R module. Set the right address of the module and click on OK. When the module is added you can add a data point by clicking on the plus icon. This way the data point will be automatically assigned to the selected channel. And if required you can also move the data points from one channel to other by drag and drop. Select the module and open the properties to see the details of this module. It is possible to change the properties if needed. Navigate to the graphical view to get an overview. You can see the module here and click on the three dots to view the properties. Similar to the tabular view you can move the data points from one channel to other by drag and drop. And add a new data point by clicking on the channel itself. You can delete the module by clicking on the bin icon. If you now notice the power consumption bar it shows that out of the total 300 mA internal supply from the PXC4, nothing is used. Add a new module again by clicking on the plus icon here. Now it shows that 42 mA is being used by the module added. This status will turn orange or red depending on the supply used. You can add a power supply module when the internal power supply is used up. Please note that you can add up to 8 TXIO modules only. Finally you can check the configuration after all the modules are added and the data points are assigned. You are at the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.